Well, if you're anything like our producer Melanie, you might be a little bit scared of this next segment. Mike Hopcraft and April Moore, who is uh, off to the side here, are here from the Reptile Guy Rescue Education Center. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having us. Let's get to this guy first, because he is uh, big and he's moving around. This is uh, Turbo. Yes. The tortoise. Yes. Not a turtle. Not a, not a turtle. <laughs> when they're that big, they're a tortoise. Yeah. So Do what, you even know the difference? No. Tortoises can't swim. Oh. There you go. It's the simplest thing. Tortoises don't go in water. His face kind of looks like a little old man. He's so Everybody cute. says that. Mm -hmm. Can I pet him? Yeah, you can pet him. He's really friendly. The only time you can get this guy to bite you is if you're feeding him and your finger goes into his mouth while okay. he's eating. That's okay, it. So they're, they're tortoises. Tortoises are generally like And so this. what does he weigh? He's about 100 pounds. Feels okay. like 200 pounds. Can I pounds. touch the, the... You can, wherever you want. Now, they do feel that too. Do they? Okay. They feel everything that touches their oh, shell. They do have blood vessels and nerves. Well, just don't be violent. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, where did you get this guy from? Um, he actually came from a gentleman on the island. They were actually starting up a parrot rescue, and um, they had this guy living in the garage where they're starting up the parrot rescue. It just it wasn't going to work out for him, so we asked if we could take him in, and yeah. now he's okay. not here. the ideal pet, right? For no, I do not recommend these guys as pets at all. I mean, they can live over 100 years. They get like wow. 200 pounds. So he'll double the size potentially, wow. right? So, it just they're not a good house pet. So, uh, let's give him a break yeah, and bring the next one. in. Set him down for a second here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, he's a little heavy and awkward. I stopped the table a little bit. That's okay. So, we don't mind. This one is the one that certain people, Melanie, don't like. <laughs> this is Gretchen. Yeah, you can hold her. Yo, oh boy. So she is a salmon pink bird eating tarantula. Oh. Nice. She is also not full grown. They really? get about, about eight to ten inches full grown, sometimes a little bit bigger. So think dinner plate, like a smaller dinner plate. Yeah. That's how big they can get. Um, now that she's on you, she is venomous. She does have fangs. The fangs are right up at the front there. If you can see them up there, He's good. Um, and they are venomous. But to get her to bite you, you got to almost kill her. And if she bit you, it's like a wasp sting. Ah. Unless you're allergic to it. I'm not afraid at all. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, this is a big spider. She's a spider. I don't really trust anything that has word eating in its name. Though. Yeah. <laughs> kind of scares me a little bit. What's this like as a pet? Um, honestly, these are like the most low maintenance pet you can get. Um, you feed them once a week, make sure they have water, and that's about it. You don't need to handle them all the time. I mean, it's good to. To handle these a little bit so they don't get aggressive. Um, I mean, some of these guys, if you don't handle them, they can get pretty nasty. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, just a little regular handling, they'll be like this. So let's talk about what you do at the center. Yep. Uh, you're rescuing, you're educating. Yep. Uh, so, you, you just moved to Mission as well. Yeah, we just opened our new location in Mission, um, which we're really excited about. It's like three and a half times the size of our previous location. So our location out there, think of it as an indoor reptile zoo. Okay. Um, so people pay admission, they come in, they look at the animals. We do like birthday parties and school presentations, all that stuff. Ooh. But all the money from the admissions and from the presentations funds our rescue. Okay. Right, so we're we are a rescue, but we don't get donations like other you know cute animal organizations right. get. Right. Yeah. So we have to find other ways to make the money. So that's why we have the education center, which helps okay. fund the rescue. And you do birthday parties. We do birthday parties. That's Let's birthday parties are one. pretty much what keep us going. The next one is awesome. This has got to be big for the birthday parties. Actually, this one is brand new. But not my birthday. birthday party. So <laughs> there are with the education center, there are certain animals that I do buy to bring in to the okay. because something like this will get people to come in to see it, yes. right? Okay. Which in turn gets more money for the rescue. So there are a, a small handful of animals we've actually bought there but they're like the really cool ones like this and so kids can touch this kids are able to hold and pet this one here oh. now this is what we call a green tree python okay now I'm not awesome with colors, but I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> yellow. Yeah, so the cool thing about green tree pythons, they start out like this. In about four or five months, it will start to turn color oh. and eventually it will be a green snake. So he's not named yet? No, it's not named yet. Do you know what starts with P? Peter? You know, we try to avoid giving our animals people names. All right, fine. Uh, <laughs> Here, you, how about you hold this one? Oh, gosh. Okay. Do it for the camera. I, I would love to do something. You can do it. In this segment. Just, just hand out like that. Gretchen's getting closer there to my face. There we go. Can it sense well, my fear? What we can do to make her a little more secure oh. is we actually let her walk right up to your shoulder. Sliding on my hand. Oh, that's There. Awesome. Now she's a little bit more secure on your shoulder. If she touches your neck, it's instant goo pumps. Can oh, it's on my neck. I can feel it. There you go. Oh, it's on my hand. It's like the most awkward show. So while you guys have those, let's bring out her. <laughs> oh, that is a large, large... Oh, she's got April. <laughs> I'm in a dream. <laughs> so okay. this... Oh, it's a boa constrictor. Yes, it she is. She is also not full grown. Um, she is a surrenderer at her rescue. We've got probably <laughs> 30 boas, just wow. like her. Um, the it's problem with back. these guys here, it's okay, he's got a sweater. Yeah, where's the stick? Where's the it's right, right here. It's, you, you, just, just ignore it. Pretend it's not even there. You see it? Okay. <laughs> so the problem with these guys here, these here start out small. Right. They are cute little babies. People want them as pets. They buy them all the time. Yeah. Yeah. People breed them all the time. They have live babies. They're super easy to breed, right? Okay. And then, 
they get this size right. and bigger. Right. So we get a lot of boas in of this size. We actually just got an email yesterday for another one that's going to be coming in. And then we get them in at this size. It is so hard to adopt them out because nobody wants the big boas. They all want the babies. Right. I don't know right. what's going under here. And recently, uh, they've been spotted on Burnaby Mountain, here. which is a little Those scary. are ball pythons. Yeah, yeah there's okay. a lot of ball pythons and, out there. And you got one. Did you let go? Did you we, get... Yeah, we got one of the ball pythons. Okay. Uh, we didn't bring it here, but we do have one of the ball pythons that was found up there. We're not sure what's going on there. It is a, yeah. a bit of an awkward situation. We got one minute left. Let's bring in our, let's, we got to say goodbye to you. Do they play nice, Are by the way, or is that? Uh, yeah, they'll be fine. They'll be fine, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. We got one more. One more? Okay, let's bring him out. April's going to bring him out, and I'm going to let April hold him for a minute because wow. I got the bullet out. So this is Slash. This is another one of those ones that starts out small and is a goodish pet, but yeah. then they get big like this. Just set oh, them on yeah. the table. Just set them right down on the table there. Wow. He'll be good. The lot going That's on. Yeah. Slash. Yeah. Now, when we got Slash in, he was actually surrendered to us because he bit his old owner in the back of the hand. The oh. guy had to get 13 stitches in the back of his hand. Now, to do a little head bot for the camera, this is his way of saying, I'm big and tough and I'm scary. Leave okay. me alone. Okay. Ah. We're not going to leave him alone. Wow, okay, there's a lot of information to take in <laughs> yes. here. Um, biggest message is probably do your research, yeah. don't take on mm -hmm. something that's gonna outlive you. Yeah, and, it's, and the thing is there's no such thing as bad pets, it's bad owners, right? It's so responsible owners, right? I mean, if these looked after properly and it's a proper home, yeah. awesome pet, but not for most people. Right. And if you wanna see these things, just visit you. You yes. don't have to have them as a pet. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I, I think I might know what I'm doing for my next birthday party, there you guys. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, I'm holding a snake. <laughs> Anyways, if you want more info on the Reptile Guy Rescue and Education Center, you can visit their website, Reptile Guy, I can barely talk. Reptileguy.ca. <laughs> I'm holding a snake. Where's the tarantula? Right there. Right there. Here, it's I'll move him up a little bit. So oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>